Guys, here's another update on the magnetic paddle shifter I've been working on. This is the unit from last time, and I printed out another one with slightly different dimensions and attached them to the wheel. Uh, this way I can actually test them out in the sim. I'm still playing around with the uh, distance and let's see which size is going to be best, but the overall uh, mechanic of, mechanics of the uh, device will stay the same, and it's working quite nice and really smooth. The paddle shifters will be standalone units, but for this build, they will attach to a new kind of button box I'm building here. Currently I'm testing them with my main box, but this box has a complicated PCB inside, so it's more difficult to build. Goal on here, or for, for this uh, button box, will be to use an Arduino Nano. It's a very cheap microcontroller board you can get off eBay or Amazon, and then use modular components standard buttons here. Uh, this down here will be one of those Arduino joystick modules. It's a joystick already mounted to a PCB, also very cheap, and you just plug them in. This is just a faceplate right now, it's very thin, I'm just I'm playing around with the button layout, I'm not sure yet. So this will not stay that way, only for testing. But overall it's already taking shape, I guess, <laughs> so it's going somewhere. I made a little adapter so I can attach the wheel to the G27. I would not recommend you do this unless you're building something like this. The G27 base is not strong enough for a wheel like that. The wheel is too heavy. Also the additional uh, size, the base just can't handle it. But for testing, it works. So let me get this mounted and uh, I'll be right back. While we're in the car, the shifters are currently connected to the main button box down here. The, now that this works, I will be developing the Arduino software as well for the standalone unit. So let me just fire this up real quick. I'll show you the shifters. Are they right? Compared to the G27 shifters, it's a really nice and crisp broker. The G27s are uh, spring-loaded, so it's just constant resistance all the way to the end. Where the magnetic ones, they just break free, clean, and then shift. Done and then they return the same way. Very nice feeling. So now that I know this is working, I'll be ordering the OSW probably by the end of this week. Uh, if you're in the market or if you're thinking about upgrading to an OSW, maybe this could be an option for you, uh, depending on what wheel you want to use. The Beltonic wheel right here is 70 euros, and then with all the parts, and if you, depending on what kind of switch configuration you're going to go with, you're looking at about another 40 euros. So 100 euros, a little over 100 dollars, you'll be able to build your own wheel for direct drive system with paddle shifters and the button box. It's not going to have all the features of like a Fanatec wheel, but I'm planning on extending some of the functionality of this setup later. But for now, it's going to be just a simple setup with a simple button box, magnetic paddle shifters and I've been testing my button box over here for I think this is almost a year now or if not a little longer it's been working really well so I'll be using what I've learned building this one uh, to improve this and make it as easy as possible so if you're interested in this uh, keep an eye out videos on this channel or just uh, leave a comment below or contact me and uh, if you like to uh, test a few things out. Same thing if you have a 3D printer. <clears throat> yes. Uh, like I said, if you uh, have a 3D printer and like to uh, test some early units or if you like to play around a little bit, uh, contact me. I'm uh, more than happy to share the files already. I just don't want to make them public yet. Uh, Still development stages, but it's coming along really good and it's looking very promising. And like I said, I already built this box down here, so I know they work, they work reliably. And uh, this is just going to be a much this one's built on a Teensy, it's a more expensive micro control unit. This is going to be like Nano, what are they like? Three, no, I think four euros shipped from China. So it takes a little bit to pull them to get here, but they're really cheap. So, yeah, stay tuned. And I'll uh, see you next time. As I drive into the water. That's a good finish.